Vibration analysis is a powerful tool for diagnosing unbalance. The spectrum is very useful because we will always expect to see a high peak at the running speed or turning speed of the machine which we'll call 1x vibration, 1 times running speed. But phase analysis is also very important. It helps us to determine that it is unbalanced and it helps us understand whether we've got static unbalance or dynamic unbalance as you'll see with the animations. So if we have static unbalance, it's all in one plane. So number one we see that the motion is at the running speed. So we see the high 1x peak. Number two, if you look closely, the motion here is circular. And although it may be a little bit elliptical because the stiffness of the machine might mean the horizontal vibration is a little higher than the vertical, basically it's circular and therefore we expect to see 90 degrees between the vertical and horizontal reading. Notice also in the case of static unbalance that the two ends of the rotor are moving up and down and from side to side in sync. So there's zero phase difference between the ends. Now it might not be exactly zero when you do this test but you know it's close enough that you can say okay it's static unbalance and knowing that means you can do a single plane balance. So we expect to see the high 1x peak in the spectrum. We see the 90 degree phase relationship between the vertical and horizontal. We would expect to see very little phase difference when comparing the vibration readings at each end of the rotor. Um, and we expect to see the bulk of the vibration in the radial or vertical and horizontal direction and very little axial. If we have dynamic unbalance, the motion in this case may look a little more complicated but in fact it's not. Um, we have dynamic unbalance because it's a longer rotor and the distribution of the unbalanced weight or erosion or corrosion whatever is causing it is not even but it's still 1x vibration there's no extra 2x or something like that. It's still circular motion so we still expect to see the 90 degrees phase difference between vertical and horizontal. The difference is that if we compare the vibration from one end of the rotor to the other, um, we won't see zero or anywhere close to that because that would be um, static. It won't be 180. That would be couple unbalanced, but you're rarely going to see that um, unless it was statically balanced and leaving you with just couple unbalanced. But um, uh, it, we expect the phase relationship to be somewhere in between. So high 1x, radial vibration, not very much axial vibration, 90 degrees phase difference between vertical and horizontal and between somewhere near zero and somewhere near 180 degrees would indicate that this is a fault. In the case of axial vibration um, we still get the radial motion, we still get that circular motion which I'm not really highlighting in this animation. What I'm highlighting here is that we also get a rocking motion and that causes axial vibration. So the difference is we expect to see the high vertical and horizontal vibration and high axial. So if we place sensors in this direction we will see, we'll measure that axial vibration and we would see these two bearings moving in phase with each other. We can also obviously measure the uh, radial vibration and we would see the high 1x. So we will always see the high 1x peak but now we'll see it in the axial direction as well and we can look for the 90 degree phase difference between vertical and horizontal and we can look at the 0 degree phase difference when measuring the two bearings in the axial direction. So in conclusion in this very quick presentation Spectrum analysis can definitely be used to detect unbalance. 1x vibration is the key indicator, but there are a lot of fault conditions that will provide a 1x peak. So even though you may be looking at a fan and you say, well, it's most likely to be unbalanced as against eccentricity or bent shaft or you know some other sort of fault that generates 1x vibration, phase can help us ensure that it's unbalanced not something else and we can then therefore figure out how to do the balanced job. So we can look for that 90 degrees phase relationship and we can compare the vibration at either end. If it's an overhung rotor then we expect to see the actual vibration as well and so between the spectrum and phase readings 
we get a good diagnosis. The time waveform should just be a simple sine wave, so it's not a real good key indicator. So thank you for viewing this presentation. I hope it has helped clarify a few points. Um, and if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us.